Good evening, friends. It is good to gather as God's people this evening for Wednesday, November the 11th, 2020, as the joint congregations of Emmanuel United Church of Christ and Messiah Evangelical Lutheran Church in New Berlin, Pennsylvania. On this Wednesday, November the 11th, it is Veterans Day, and we set aside time this evening to remember those who have served and are serving to honor their sacrifices and the sacrifices of their families, and to pray for peace, for an end to war that their sacrifices may be needed no longer. I invite you to center yourselves for prayer, to remember that in the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, 102 years ago, the war to end all wars ended. And after World War II ended, we have continued to rage wars. Peace has not yet filled our world. We come to God in prayer. As we remember that Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for be strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord, whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. 
Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. A reading from Micah. In the days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised up above the hills. People shall stream to it, and many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. But out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between many peoples, and shall arbitrate between strong nations far away. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But they shall all sit under their own vines, and under their own fig trees, and no one shall make them afraid, for the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken, for all the peoples walk, each in the name of its God, but we will walk in the name of the Lord our God for ever and ever. The word of God for the people of God. The next reading is from Psalm 85. You have been gracious to us, your land, O Lord. You have restored the good fortune of Jacob. You have forgiven the iniquity of your people and blotted out all their sins. You have withdrawn all your fury and turned yourself from the wrathful indignation. Restore us then, O God, our Savior and let our anger depart from us. Will you be displeased with us forever? Will you prolong your anger from age to age? Will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your steadfast love, O God, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying, for you speak peace to your faithful people to those who turn their hearts to you. Truly, your salvation is very near to those who fear you, that your glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Faithfulness shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed grant prosperity and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before the Lord and shall prepare for the Lord a pathway. The gospel reading is from the book of John, chapter 15, verses 9 through 12. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. The word of God for the people of God.
this day, we, rem we remember those who have served in our armed forces. Let us pray. Prince of Peace, even as we pray for an end to war, we give thanks for our soldiers' courage, for their love of country, and for their work to bring peace to our world. Healer of all, bind up the wounds of all who have served. Show us how to comfort those who are hurting. Merciful God, all suffer the cost of war. We remember widows and widowers, orphans, and all those separated from those they love. We pray, gracious God, that swords will be turned into plowshares and that peace will reign. We give thanks for all who have served. Shield from danger all those who bravely protect us. With them may we glory not in war, but in your love and righteousness. Strengthen us to be your peacemakers in the world. Amen. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending. By paths as yet untrodden through perils unknown, give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us in your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds ever present in Christ our Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen.